Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Oxnum Gaming 8 here, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to some more Team NT Flash games, where today we are playing Turtle Portation, which was a Flash game where he played as Michelangelo and teleported to different timelines in Team NT, and yeah, you basically played different mini games in different timelines and all, yeah. So if you enjoy, or if you'd like to see me make more videos like this, then like the video, and also if, and also if you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on all notifications so you can't miss anything new I upload. I upload gaming content every Tuesday to Friday, and a new Hair Factory Edition short every Monday, all at 3pm British time. And subscribing is a brilliant way to help him reach 200 subscribers, which I very much appreciate as soon as that is my next sub goal. And in case you don't know, only 10% of you who watch my vids are actually subscribed. So if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. It really means a lot to me. Anyway, let's just get into the action and see what all of this, all of this is about. So basically, you have two modes, story mode and free play. Yeah, free play gets kind of boring because you choose a game and have to like stick with it until you die. Which is why I just prefer story mode. So let's do this. Yo, Donnie, you in here? It's pizza time! Whoa, what's that? Do not touch, but, but the bun is so shiny! It couldn't hurt, right? I suppose, but why would you? Something smells... Ugh! Phew, that was a close one! Alright, click to jump to the other side. And remember, you have to use the left mouse button instead of the right one. And you can also click on pizza slices in order to regain health. I only have one HP at the very start. Right. Throw that dough! Click and drag to move. Bounce the dough into the pot. Oh, come on. Get in the pot, get in the pot, get in the pot. Oh, come on! I had to die right off the bat, didn't I? But anyway, let's start again. Oh no, it's a wrecking! Count Dracula, the Verminator! Click repeatedly to shake off the rats. And in case you're wondering why there's little slices of... So basically, you'll get little rats on top of you, and the longer you leave them, and the longer you leave them on, the closer the rat king will approach you. So yeah, you gotta get those mice off as quickly as possible. Uh-oh. Green means good, right? Click the green buttons before they can overload. Oh, come on! I always suck at that one. I die, like, over and over again in this. I don't actually know why. Ah, lasers! So what you do is you move your mouse up and down in order to climb the shell razor. And you gotta move to the least threatful area. Yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do, really. That's nice, got a pizza slice just before I teleported right out of there. Whoa! Now this I can do. Right, so this is basically ping pong. Yeah, tennis for two. So what you do is you move your mouse up or down in order to... Yeah, you basically move your mouse up or down in order to... Yeah, you move your mouse up or down in order to yeah it's basically tennis for two in a nutshell ah rats everywhere don't worry april i won't let us fall so what you do is you click and hold on the opposite side the bridge is falling so you click on the side that the bridge is not falling towards to make it fall towards that just to keep balance right let's try and score at least ten thousand points before we end the video gotta score at least ten thousand points shut up pc song thing how many guards are over there? They won't know, they won't even know I'm here. So what you do is they're basically the foot soldiers with the lights, and what you have to do is you basically have to move when they're not flashing a light or anything, and just flashing it outside instead of on you, and also make sure you collect the pizza, and whether you're all low on health or not, because that can actually help you regain health, not only that, but also help you get some points. Whoa, guys! I'd hate to get between you, but you two should stop fighting. 
So what you should do is you re is you should repeatedly click on Leonardo and Raphael to push them away from each other. But what I recommend doing is just going with one brother and just sticking with that brother from start to finish. Because yeah, otherwise it just all gets muffled up and very hard to play otherwise. Pizza time! Click to steal pizza when Leo and Raph are not looking. Basically, the looker is behind the plate. Oh, come on! Oh, there's a pizza I can steal without... With their con... There's a pizza I can steal without their consent or not. Oh, come on, Leo! Oh, come on! I just gotta wait for the perfect time to strike. <laughs> oh, so I just have an itchy throw, that's all. Hey, Leo, what's Karai doing here? Leo, ah, oh, man. So what you basically got to do for this is click to deflect Karai's attacks. Oh, come on. We're going to try this one more time. And if I don't get 10,000 by the end of the video, I will literally make a terrible Hero Factory Edition short. So what you do for this is you just click where it's getting highlighted. And in case you want to know what's getting highlighted, it's the it's the little th it's the little green, blue, and orange lights at the bottom. Yeah, this game actually is kind of confusing. Shredder, you want to play tag? You're it. So what you do is you click on the orange exclamation marks when they appear in order to move to a different location to prevent getting attacked by Shredder. Get a health up, and then... Oh, come on, mouse. It's because I actually have two mouses with me now. All right, 9,000 points. Whoa, phew, I almost fell. Huh? What's that noise? Mouser, shoo! So what you basically do is you click to toss a ninja star at the mouses. And for this one, you your point doubles up by one, just because, yeah. I don't know why your points double up by a small amount each time. I think it's by each mouse you defeat, by each mouse you defeat, but I don't really know. Uh-oh, incoming ledge. So what you do is you click and hold in order to jump. You have a leap of faith. Prepare! Come on, get that pizza. No, no. <laughs> Alright, so what you do... Get me out of here! So what you do is you move to the non-lasered area in order to survive. In case you want to know what those little laser things, they're basically indications of where the next laser is going to come. Alright, get that for an extra 100 points. Although I think, I don't think it really matters if we get hit by these or not because we can literally teleport out there. The Crane after April! So what you basically do is you click these stone stars in order to get these rockets away from April. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of, I don't actually know if the teacher is a twist villain. Because I think that one of the twist villains, Crane Prime, is actually a, is actually Crane Prime disguised as April's bestie. Since when did you not add a target? So what you do is you basically cl click all the targets that go, and I literally do not know how to teleport to different timelines. Time travel just sucks. I can say that again. But anyway guys, so like that, I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed, like, if you have not already, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Goodbye, have a great day, have fun, and stay safe. And also, please don't touch things that aren't yours, because they could be cursed.